Fake to motion, right to left. It's a fake to Gooch, and brought down! A big time set! by the Sycamores, and it's an okay Moala. It may be only two weeks into the season, but it is clear the Sycamores have a brick wall up front with the defensive line, and leading the way is sophomore Inoke Moala, who currently sits second in the Missouri Valley Football Conference with four tackles for loss for a young man that only had five tackles all of last season. Oh, and the Sycamore coaching staff couldn't be further from surprise. Yeah, well, Inoki comes out every day. You know, he came out every day in the spring and worked hard. We knew he was going to be a great player, and uh, he's got a great future here. Well, you know what? For That's a credit to, to Noakes. I mean, he's worked awfully hard to improve from the spring and had a great summer. And uh, you know, if there's a young man on this team that, that buys into what we're trying to do, it's him. And uh, all the credit goes to him because uh, if he's not working at it, he doesn't get any better. It is his work ethic and it's his commitment to his teammates and to this program to, to be the best individual player that he can be to make his front four better, to make the unit better, to make the team better. And that's something that we noticed about Inoki when we first got here. You know, he's a guy that hasn't played with his hand in the ground. And, um, you know, we made that transition with him when we got here and, and, and he absorbed everything that Coach Smith was, was preaching to him and we were trying to get done there. And uh, has been a guy that, as you said, just every day has worked to perfect his craft and, and his commitment to the weight room and his commitment to, you know, nutrition and just everything that, that goes along with being a, a top-notch college football player. Moala was a talented tight end at Penn High School in Mishawaka, Indiana. And his skill set and capability caught the eye of Coach Mallory when he was in Ann Arbor. Coach Madison, uh, son Brian, was coaching him. We knew about him then. And uh, we watched him as a tight end and, and a defensive end back then and knew he was something special. And when I got here and I knew he was here, the first person I called I said, hey, Greg, guess who we got? Yeah, we they go. just tight end in high school and very little go, defense. Go, and of course, uh, if you know the Madison family, their defensive coaches and Brian being a defensive line coach at Penn High School and Greg, of course, being a, uh, one of the best defensive minds in our game, uh, kept talking about, gosh, this guy has got potential to be on the defensive side. And uh, it's really showing up with us. Coaches kind of want me to play a little defense. Still mainly played offense, though. Uh, got like two or three reps my senior year total at outside linebacker. Still is not really used to it, but uh, some of the coaches recruited me defensively, and I mean, I just kind of took that role upon me and tried to learn and adjust to that. Kind of just playing to my strengths, uh, kind of like, I guess, my height. My height wasn't really tight end worthy at the next level. I was trying to think of more future-wise and uh, realize that the um, future was on the defensive side. And OK was quick to recognize his brothers along the trenches with him for allowing the success he has had early on this year in 2017 which that is the trait all of the coaches recognize as why he is crucial to the Sycamore's success. You know, it, it, I always look at it this way, it is that if, if uh, Anoke was my son, I'd be as proud of him as any kid of, of my own. And, uh, and that's a credit to his family, how he's upbringing, how he's been raised. And, uh, you know, he's a young man that takes care of everything he needs to take care of on the field and off. You love to see the guys that are Great kids, have great character, have tremendous integrity, um, work extremely hard, uh, are great examples, not just in the weight room, on the football field, but just in society in general, um, with the type of person that Inoki is. And, and it makes you feel just great for him to be able to have the success that he's had because it's just a reward and a testament to everything that he's put into it. And the biggest matchup of all time, Inoki versus Jaquette McClendon. Could this happen at a practice? And Inoki would win. Hands down, right, Anoke? Uh, definitely not. He's uh, he's more agile than I am and ever will be. <laughs> yeah, Jack's pretty good, but so is Anoke Moala. For more on Sycamore football, you know where to stay. Right here at GoSycamores.com.